dear friends this is my tutorial now tutorial 9 so in this video i'm going to explain how to perform density of state in wasp and and wasp kit so today i'm going to tell you how to plot this FENC system density of states so there are three types of uh, density of states the first one is the total density of state that means total system with all orbitals and the local density of state uh, l dos this is specific atom with all orbitals so if you want to do only fe atom you can select only fe with all orbital that means local density of states so third one is projected density of state that is p dos so this is specific atom with specific orbitals so yes p and d orbitals whatever it is so if you want to go into more deeper so you, you can also split your orbital into p uh, for p orbital you can p x and p y p z and if you want to do d orbital you can separately uh, uh, plot d x y y z d z square and d x z and dx square minus y square orbital you 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 you, you can get uh, separately for uh, density of state of each orbitals so then you can plot it into using our origin now so i will tell you step by step approach how to proceed uh, to do density of state first to do uh, first to do geometry optimization with i spin 2 with the corresponding magnum tag then make input file for dos calculation with necessary changes in the in car i will tell you then next uh, after some time i will tell you this how to make in car file then you will get the dos car file this is a very important file for uh, density of test calculation then using wasp kit we can get our dos files so whatever we want dos l dos or total dos under p dos whatever we want we will get using the wasp kit uh, tool then we can plot using origin software so now i will going to tell you the changes in the in core file for dos calculation So this is the my file uh, for uh, DOS calculation input file for uh, DOS calculation. So so I will open this in core file for DOS calculation. So this is the in core file for uh, on DOS calculation. Here I mentioned so I brown minus one. So if you are if you are doing single point calculation, it should be minus one, and also nsw0 this also should be 0 for scf calculation dos or any other electronic structure analysis you put 0 then important is yeah this is the dos curve parameter so we, this is the dos curve parameter if you want to do dos curve you have to l orbit 11 and e min e max this is the energy of your dos this is the positive uh, negative energy this is the positive i will show you in the graph you can you can know that one easily this is you can keep a 5000 five n dos so these are the important parameter for dos calculation so you can check while doing your dos calculation so that's all this is my k point file this is my postcard file is this there are only carbon 66 atom nitrogen 4 and iron 1 atom so this is my postcard file this is the three atom in, in present in the uh, in the postcard file so this is my uh, submission script okay so i already submitted this calculation for dos is there in that uh, supercomputer this is the the completed folder for dust calculation the fe and 4c system so now i will tell you how to plot uh, how to get that uh, dos files using wasp kit so copy this corresponding folder go to your uh, supercomputer <coughs> yeah 
then you can type wasp kit so now you will see density of state 11 just you type 11 then you will see a different kind of dos options so you can we can also do first total density of state then uh, local density of state each element uh, we are getting so we can do also this uh, local density of state and also the projected density of state of selected item on orbiter first we will do the total density of state and i will tell you how to plot in using origin so first to type one 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 that's all reading our parameters so we have to wait uh, sometimes yeah so our uh, total dos this is the total dos dat file is completed we can see from refreshing this folder so this is the total dos of the system So we can uh, name it so like that we will do the um, local dos again you can type wasp kit so then type again 11 so now you will get that So if you want to if you want only one atom you can uh, type corresponding atom with all orbitals if you want to local density of state of that one so we can also get uh, each element so we can uh, type one one six calculation is going on please wait a few minutes oh yeah so our calculation completed so written that uh, pdos files for up and down this is the uh, local dos of uh, this one uh, each element so we can see our uh, files So I will show you how to plot later. So just rename it. So now we are going to do now projected density of state. I can type as kit go to eleven. <coughs> type 115 then the system will ask which uh, corresponding uh, um, chemical atom atom symbol or uh, you can also type the number of uh, corresponding atom so i think our uh, this is our system so corresponding number is 71 so we can type 71 atom number so now it will ask which orbital we want so we want only d orbitals so just copy this d orbital paste it here that's all again you type then it will our uh, p does of uh, F E D orbital is written so we can also refresh here we can change it F E 3D orbital okay 
so now we have did three calculation so i will also show you how to get pdos of each orbitals so again you take rest kit so then go to 11 type 11 and also type same 115 So now type the atom number is 71. So now you, are, you, you can type one by one, you will get that uh, each orbital separately. So for that uh, first orbital is dxy, you type dxy, dxy, over, the first one is over, then again type 71, dyz d y z orbital again 71 d z square d z square again 71 d x z d x z again 71 this is dx square minus y square they simply mention here dx square we can type dx square so then again you type uh, give enter the calculation will complete yeah our PDAS file is written, so we will go here. This is orbitals. So our DOS calculation is completed, so we can copy these files. We will plot using origin. So just to uh, copy all the file to your corresponding folder so now i will show you how to plot in origin the dos so first we will plot um, total dos I think we forgot to take our total DOS file. Yeah, this is a total DOS of our. <coughs> so just to drag to your uh, origin file. So so here you did not see anything. If you want to keep your, you can type just minus ten so that. Uh, so just copy this two numbers put here so then you can uh, it will adjust into minus 10 so now you can plot your system go to plot select two columns and the plot so this is the total dos of your system so you can type 22 okay 22 so you can say you, you can if you want to greet uh, top and bottom top and side you can go to greet click ok apply so you can type just like this and uh, so now it will be covered so if you want to change this we get want to more thickness type 2 apply so again select this one you can also you can type two and apply okay so you can also change that you can make it independent go to line you can go to black color solid you can also type two and apply the second line this also you can type two black yeah or you can also adjust this line so basically 10 up to 10 is enough 10 to 4 
so this is the total DAS of our system so if you want to so I already made some uh, DAS calculations so this is that so just copy so this is spin up and spin down okay spin up spin down so this is a fermi level okay this is the total dose of our fe n6 system so if you want to alter this go to symbol uh, frame go to non frame none uh, so if you want to alter this ttos you can type ttos ball you can remove this online mm, type back face it will go top and apply ok so this is the ttos of this one ok that's all the energy we, uh, we need to put this TDOS there and here you can type so our total DOS is ready so now you can export your image So ECPS you can select JPG, you can type EFE N4 C T DAS. The folder name is just copy this folder name, the corresponding path. image size you can uh, enlarge it so here you can click 600 then only you will get a good quality so other things are same that's all uh, okay i think our uh, total dos is ready so this is our total dose of FENC 6 ok so you can see this project We have saved this one. That this is over. The next plot we will see the local dos. So this is very important. So this is local dos of downspin. So this is local dos of upspin. So you can type a minus 10. Okay, here also if you want you can type minus 10. Don't 
or change anything so also you can uh, copy uh, this is up so you can add uh, some columns so you can see which column is corresponding which item so just to open with uh, so first one is carbon second one is nitrogen third one is iron so we can choose only the iron atom for local dust so this is the iron atom fe so this also fe so this is fe up down dn so you can copy this just you can paste here okay so i think we no need this one just we can remove this so now you can select this uh, uh, local draws off for this fe atom so go to plot yeah this is the local draws of iron atom okay so likewise you can also alter this one 10 to Four. Okay, that's you can also make it this bold twenty two. This also bold twenty two. You can also arrange this is three to three equally. So this also you can make independent line color. So you can make it red to so this also you can make it uh, to red apply okay so you can make it the uh, grids <coughs> so this is very good what are grids click ok ok that's also a grid uh, we it's over so we already made uh, another graph for that one so just we can copy so this way this is x-axis and uh, y-axis things Okay, they like spin up. Can copy these things. So that's all. Fermi level this one so you can also alter like that earlier I told how to alter this is and then it and make it bold click OK so if you want to remove that one on the frame box you can keep none okay that's how you are your LDOS is ready that's how you can also save this export we already saved the same place you can also change this jpg So if you want to nitrogen LDOS, carbon LDOS, you, you can do like this, you will get. You can make it 600, you will get good quality picture. I 
think we can see our uh, okay yeah loss is that um, <coughs> yeah just crop oh yeah this is our yeah loss this is spin up and spin down okay Now we will see P does. So drag over <coughs> FE three D orbital. So this is only the 3D or D orbitals. So go like this and plot it. So this is the FE 3D orbital. So likewise you can make a grid top and uh, this side, mm, top and side, and also you can change this energy. So we will do this one. So go to uh, click independent. So type blue to apply. blue color you can select uh, which which color you want you can select uh, you can you can arrange that uh, data line you can type 10 to 4 so here also you can alter um, so 3 3.5 you can give e equal number 3 so that's all you can also make grids So you can make it bold, increase font, bold, increase font 22. So go to properties, delete one line, okay, back base here, FE, 3D orbitals. So you can make it italic this one, and also bold. Okay. So I can remove this frame. Okay. That's all. Now you can. Uh, So you can make our any graph, you can copy this. So for me level we mentioned uh, spin up and spin down. So You can change this one. Yeah. Here you can change P dos. You can save, and then you can export your uh, figure.
type your uh, file name 600 okay so our p dash ready So why you are getting P dash like that means in so our system is a magnetic so that's why we did not get the symmetric this there is a two unpaired electron that's why we are getting um, unsymmetrical dos pattern if you are there is without unpaired electron we will get the symmetric uh, paired or uh, paired electron we will get symmetric P dash so then I will tell you how to do So the orbitals, P does for each orbital. So this is P does for each orbital. Oh, just you can type minus 10. Don't. So that's it. So just select all the columns here. Go to plot. So this is the projected uh, DOS on the each orbital. So first you can clear this one. the five types of orbital here the frame you can give none so likewise just to go to grid apply grid So you can make it bold. Twenty two. So you can change this is the range ten to four. So yeah. Okay. So we can make it this is the D it we can make independent and line so first you will make it black color two maybe second also same you can make it black color the first one is dxy orbital this is so Yeah, this is a DXY orbital. Second one is blue. This is second two is DYZ orbital. So you can also type two here. You can also change color into red. Mm, apply here also color to red. To apply. Okay. So this red color one is a DYZ orbital. Okay. Then if you want DZ square orbital, just click. You will get this is blue color dz square orbital apply blue so this is a dz square orbital and then we can clip dx is at so here you can clip magenta color to apply So this magenta color is a DXC set orbital and then we can plot lost orbital. You can give wine color to apply. Okay. 
yeah finally we plotted that uh, d orbital of f e f e so d e x y d y z d z square so you can click the square then d e x is set finally d x square minus y square select you can uh, keep square so you can make it bold everything select one by one you do it yeah apply ok so that's all our we have plotted our dr beta so we can make it now the fermi level control c copy just paste it here so spin up and the fermi level this is so if you see the sum of the orbitals here localized near to the fermi level so so just we need to give this x axis data projected uh, DOS for uh, each orbital is ready so just we can export as a image of orbitals ready just crop it and yeah that's all our uh, dos is ready okay So if you like my content please like and subscribe and comment and share thank you for watching and thank you so much for your uh, time